Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna get some more ground ready for uh, to plant some wheat on. I was able to run some beans yesterday. Got done with the variety that uh, it's working on. So what's out there is green in spots yet, but I'm trying out my new uh, headband. My in-laws, uh, Randy and Linda, got me this uh, kit with all sorts of different attachments for the GoPro. Just getting a chance to try it out. So hopefully my head doesn't move around so much that you guys get sick, but thank you very much. Just checking oil here before we fire up. Yeah, just below the full. All right, everything's where it should be. I like to grab the fan on that every now and then and uh, give it a little shake, make sure those fan bearings are all right. It's not mounted on the water pump like a lot of uh, engines. And they have been known if that bearing goes out, it'll put the fan in the radiator and that ain't cheap. I will say, let's see, it got, we had frost this morning, so it's cold out, but so I don't know if this qualifies as a cold start, but it's worn back up into the forties. These 32 eights have always been good starters. Make some smoke when they're cold, but pretty much if they crank over, they'll fire up. It's supposed to get rain later today, so I don't know if I'll get to where I can run any beans. I kind of thought I was gonna have to wait for this variety to dry, but. I think there's some parts in this uh, over here where we're looking right now where I'll be able to uh, maybe run some if things dry off enough today. I know the same variety way in the back is not ready. The hilltops are, but the low spots were very wet. Got some visitors this morning. Oh geez, look at all of them over there. Canadian geese, sandhill cranes. Not sure how well they're showing up, but there are tons of them.
well, time to plant some wheat. I gotta move the combine out of the way to get the drill out. Let's see how they look now. Yeah, they're still big. I think they've shrunk some. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are just not ready to run. Step. Excuse me, now back there. And I gotta get the wagon out and fill the drill. So I thought I'd try my head cam some more. All right, let's see how good this girl starts in the cold weather. It's not been plugged in. Oh yeah, I need to put fuel on it too. Has not been plugged in, no preheat, none of that stuff. Fan off. Oops, I left that on. Come on. Well, I'm glad the uh, monitor didn't run my battery down. Uh, get the old crusty but trusty 1550 out with a seed wagon. Get filled up. Oil's all right there. Got her test plot planted. That's where she starts on the west. Let's see, we got, oh yeah, this is our control flipper. 
Apparently the name of the hybrid, or variety rather, it's wheat. ISF 6771. Branson. SY 576. SY 100. AG438. Flipper again for uh, yield check control. ISF727. DF119. That's a local seed company here in Michigan. DF109. One of these, uh, I believe it was one of these DF numbers, won the state uh, yield contest this year. DF-105. I've grown deal, uh, that's in, what the D stands for, deal. They're uh, DF-112. And then here's the last one. Flipper again for our control. I've grown deal uh, soybeans before. The guy really knows how to breed soybeans. And uh, be interesting to see how they do with wheat. That's the plot.